Hey, it's Rachel Lau. Wanna tour my Penny's Bay room? Come to my room. So, this is the door. We're gonna start right here. Imagine yourself entering into this room. First thing you're gonna see is my little kitchenette, my beautiful kitchen island, which is not an island. So, here we have my rice cooker, my trusty Panasonic 10 year old rice cooker. Um, this is where I reheat my meals because their meals always arrive cold and you can also cook simple things like vegetables and rice and steam things in here. When you take a look inside, you'll see that I was actually uh, reheating some of my curry in here. And then here, you get this kettle which the camp provides you with to boil water and stuff. And then this is my DIY dish rack. I just washed a lunchbox that they gave us. And then you can put like your dishes here to dry. And sometimes they give us too, way too many meals. Like today, they gave me two breakfasts and two lunches. So I have them here in case I get hungry later. And then here, I have my induction cooker where I can toast bread, cook eggs, reheat food. And I use one of the meal covers to cover this so that no bugs go on it because sometimes there are bugs. Here, I put my soy sauce and oil. The fruit they give us, they give us like one orange every other day or so. They gave us, they gave me an apple today. Then here, we're moving on to the workstation, the fantabulous workstation. I brought a seat cushion because their chairs are not the most comfortable. And then they also offer a TV slash monitor and you can bring an HDMI cable so that you can use it as like a larger screen or a second desktop screen. But I feel like one of the most important things that you must bring to camp is this power strip because they only offer two outlets here and one outlet here. So it's a total of three outlets. So you need to bring a power strip to ensure that you have enough outlets. And then you also need a Wi-Fi egg or a data card because they don't offer Wi-Fi here. And here I have stuck my menu to the wall. I've also used it as kind of like a folder to keep other documents the camp gives me. And then here, the temperature sheet, because you have to take your temperature every day at 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. They also give you a thermometer. This is, this is the thermometer when you arrive at camp. So you don't have to bring your own. And then let's move on to the bathroom, the beautiful bathroom. First of all, if there's something you need to pay attention to is how tiny the shower area is. Like, come in, come in. You are literally like, it's around this size. So when you take a shower, your skin sticks to the shower curtain. That's not very pleasant. And here I have my shower stuff. I brought these myself. They also give you like shower gel and shampoo, but of course it's nicer to bring your own. Besides shower gel and shampoo, they also offer you like toothbrush and toothpaste, which I have here. I put them here, but I haven't used them. I use my own. And they give you a roll of toilet paper. You can also ask for more. And then bath towels and face towels. So I put the one they gave me on the floor to act as like a bath mat so that I don't get everything wet because water splashes out here since it's so tiny. But um, you can also ask for more bath towels and face towels if you want any. So take a look at the sink. Hi, hello. <laughs> And then here's where you can hang your face towels and stuff. They also have three hooks behind the door. So you can hang more stuff there. And 
Yes, you can. You can lock this door, but you don't. You probably won't need to since you're alone here anyway. I also do my dishes at the sink, so just so you know. And I <laughs> hung my dishwashing gloves here. Okay, and let's move on to this area. So there are three windows here that you can open and a curtain. And here I've made myself a little DIY clothesline because I didn't really want to use the one in the restroom because I felt like my clothes and towels wouldn't dry properly there. So what I did was that I tied this string, this rope to that bit and that bit and then like made knots with pieces of paper in there so that my hangers wouldn't slip down since it's slanted, it's slanted towards the left and now my clothes and towel can dry properly this is the only crappy ass closet they give you and let me show you how crappy it is let's take a look I'm gonna try and open it up with one hand, it's not easy okay. <laughs> it's just like that there's like nothing. There literally is nothing. I put this in here because this is the duvet they give us and I thought I was blocking everything. Like, uh, you can kind of hang stuff here, but not really. And then I just put like the extra duvets and stuff they give us here. And then let's zip this back up. They also give you a set of hangers, a jug, a mop and a bucket for cleaning, broom and dustpan. Uh, and the, the room also comes with a basin for you to wash stuff in, like wash your clothes and stuff. As for the bleach and insecticide, I asked for those because I had a li like a little bug problem. And then I also asked for cleaning gloves because, you know, you don't want to be touching bleach with your bare hands. Mm -mm, that's no good. And then here I have my suitcase. I laid it out. They also offer two pillows per room. I'm not sure how clean they are, but, you know, if you don't want to bring your own. This is my pantry. I keep my snacks. Crackers, bread, granola, peanut butter, more crackers, some potatoes in here. I used to have tomatoes, onion, garlic, whatever, my bag. And then more food. I have sardines and miso soup here, some honey here. And this is my laundry. And this is my little bedside table. And they also provide you with a hair dryer, so you don't have to worry about that. You have to bring your own tissues, bring your own books, obviously. And then, what else do we have here? Ah, I asked them for cup noodles. Also asked them for earbuds, earplugs, earplugs. Because it was getting super loud one day. Construction outside was insane, so I had to ask people for that but you know they didn't really help that much only managed to block like 30 percent of the noise but whatever it's over so glad and then here is my little night light setup i love this this is the ikea usb lamp let me just turn this on to show you what it's like oh <gasps> wow magic look at it this is not from ikea this is just like a usb adapter uh, an adapter with USB ports, USB ports. I'm just gonna switch this off. And let me show you my beautiful, beautiful bed. Ta-da! Let me just show you the setup. Cause what they offer you is like, they offer you two very thin mattresses. Let me just show you. Oh, this is their sheet. This is my own sheet. I brought this. This is the sheet they give you and I you know, like doubled it up for protection. Yeah. <laughs> and this is one 
mattress. This is the second mattress. This is my yoga mat. I put my yoga mat here for better back support because these are really, they're so thin. Look, they're so thin. And you also cannot take this plastic off. So when you sit on the bed or when you like shift around when you're sleeping, it makes this like crackly sound. It's, it's pretty bad, but you, you soon get used to it and you don't really hear it that much somehow. Yeah, so the bed is not the most comfortable one. It's also kind of short. Let me just show you how short it is. I'm not very tall. I'm like 5'6". But when I lie down, my feet touch the end of the bed. Like that. So if you're taller than 5'6", your feet will probably... Your feet will probably be like this. Or even further out. Ta-da! And... This is also my own duvet cover, but I put like a thin blanket that they gave us in here. So they gave us this because it was a little chilly. So I put this in here. And then I also brought my own pillow and my own pillowcase. They give you those, but those don't look very nice. You know, you don't know how clean they are. They're rather thin. so. It's nice to bring your own. And yeah, the trash bag, they treat this as hazardous waste. They give you one trash bag per day and you tie it up with these, I forgot what you call these, <laughs> these thingies. Yeah, okay, one final 360 degree look at the room. Ta-da! Oh, I also forgot to mention. Sometimes there are bugs, so I try to keep this bug screen here. You can also open it up. But I, I would not recommend it because there could be bugs. Ta-da! There you have it.